Explain Olivier Giroud to me. Beautiful okay. man. Beautiful man. Second on the man cross list. But he's a, he's a superb player. Why, is, why, doesn't he, why isn't he a team where he's there... He's their centre forward and he plays their centre forward every game, like Harry Kane. Well, he's 30, or he is, he is, what is he, 34, nearly 35. So the, I suppose he doesn't play week in, week out because of that. Although Thomas Tuchel talked about his conditioning and said that he trains like a 20 year old. Um, but look, he, he is Chelsea's go to man in big games. He scores the big goals in big games. He scored, I think he scored, they played a Europa League uh, final against someone in Baku. I can't remember who, who it was. Who was it, Perry? Do you remember? Uh, I think Sam's it. line's gone down. I think he, he's got a, he's Tell got Joe. a good goal in that game Get anyway. producer Joe, <laughs> sound line, his line, line's gone down, can't hear him. <laughs> um, he, he scored big goals in cup semi-finals, he scored big goals for Arsenal in cup finals as well. He scored spectacular goals and the goal he scored actually on uh, Tuesday night I thought was excellent because a lot of people thought immediately offside but he'd reacted, didn't worry about that. Execution was absolutely superb and he is, he is the guy that pops up with big goals in big games and you speak, and we talked about Gareth Southgate being on the breakfast show on Tuesday. You speak to Gareth about Olivier Giroud, he can't understand either, like you, Bob, why Olivier Giroud isn't first name on the team sheet with Chelsea because his statistics are brilliant. I, I couldn't understand. I think Arsenal fans have got to love him more now that he's left mm. than when he was there. Do you know what I mean? I used to watch him play and bringing other people into the game, his hold up play is second to none. You know, his, his touch is excellent. As he gets across the near post, probably better than most. Uh, centre forwards and he's I think in his career Sam he's about a one in a two and a half one in three isn't he like yeah. for his whole career now f- for that but when goals... he's starting Perry the statistics are much better yeah but I'm just saying and his attitude is good I love the fact that earlier on in the season Frank Lampard said he was coming knocking on his door like nearly every day going why aren't I in the team why aren't I playing mm. and if you're Thomas Tuchel now he's sort of he's Scratching around to get his best team, isn't he? He's he's changing it up a little More, bit. A bit more pragmatic. It's a little bit safer, isn't it? It's keep ball, really. But if I was Timo Werner, where I st- there is a player in there. I know he's been given uh, a bit of... He's got 10 goals in the uh, Timo Werner. There's definitely a player in there. If I was Werner, I would love to be playing either up front with Olivier Drew or just off of him. You know, if you play the three. So if you play Werner one side, Drew through the middle, um, then if it's, I don't know, Pulisic or hudson Adoy, whatever... Because he gives you that, Olivier Giroud gives you that focal point. And if you look at when France obviously won the World Cup, people like Griezmann and Mbappe, although Olivier Giroud didn't score, they loved playing up front with him. You know, so ask if, Edin Hazard who his favourite partner is. It, it would, yeah, because you can give it to him and you'll get it back. If you're going yep. into the box, you'll get himself onto the uh, near post or the far post. So, I'll, I'll be, um, it will be amazing if Thomas Tuchel doesn't play him after scoring the brilliant goal midweek. Because um, he's was it before in Europa? I think he got six goals in Europa League, isn't he? Where he he, well, he basically single handedly got Chelsea to the Europa League final, which they then beat uh, Arsenal in, in in the final a couple of seasons ago. Um, he was he was brilliant in that competition. He was only ever really used in that competition. Uh, then obviously last year he was in and out again. Tammy Abraham was the sort of number one, um, if that makes uh, if that if that's fair. And I think Tammy obviously has has, has got. A, Tammy can be is right, I think, to be a little bit disappointed that he hasn't got more of a run in the team as well. He keeps getting dragged off at half time, which I don't think is entirely fair because Chelsea aren't creating loads of chances. But the thing is, don't you think that for him to be classed as a top quality striker in the Premier League, Tammy Abraham has got to take more of his chances, a high percentage of the chances that he gets? So you're a Chelsea fan. Who would you rather up front on Sunday, Giroud or Abraham? Giroud, obviously, for the, for the very reason he just what about said. about Sam? Uh, probably Giroud this weekend. I think Giroud, it, suits the, it suits the game this weekend, Olivier Giroud. 